Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the HUD. This is the first video. Anyway, we're going to be going over how to attach a uh, brand new breech ordered from Crossman. Steel breech with the, um, the rails for the scope, which is this unit right here. How to install this onto an older model, Crossman 1377. And this is the model with the, uh, the pullcock in the back. I've already uh, uninstalled the barrel and the old breech. There's the old breech right there. Okay, and there's the old barrel and the piece of plastic that fits under the barrel. That's just for looks. Apparently, doesn't really support the barrel at all. Um, when I replace the barrel, I'm not going to be using this. Um, I could, but uh, right now I'm choosing not to, just because it's giving it the look that I want. So anyway. I've gone, gone ahead and removed the old breech, uh, which is basically done by removing the um, screw in the back that holds the sights together, and then opening the, the breech. There's a small screw that fits right in this hole right here, and that screw, at least mine, uh, was an Allen screw, but it also had a slot in it um, that you could use a, uh, a regular flathead screwdriver to get it out of there. Um, I've heard that this screw is very easy to strip. Um, via the Allen wrench, so um, I went ahead and gave it a shot via the flathead sc uh, screwdriver first and had great results. I didn't even need to use the Allen wrench. Um, however, in the kit that they give you with the new breech, they do supply two Allen wrenches. Um, one of them is for this screw, um, and I'll explain what the other one is in a bit. Um, so anyway, I, I got that off. This is the old breech. You'll recognize it by this uh, slide back. Um, I guess breech cover, uh, which served me great for years. This was actually my 1377. Uh, when I was a little kid, my grandfather bought this for me. Um, probably back in uh, 1982 to 85 is what I was able to narrow it down by. Um, and this is uh, gone with me through, uh, you know, my childhood and. Um, um, it moved to my first apartment with me and sat at the top of a closet unfired. And, um, I met my wife and we moved to our house and we've been here in this house for 10 years now and it sat at another, on top of another closet for those 10 years. Uh, every once in a while I'd pull it down and take it out in the garage and fire it. And when I say every once in a while that was probably four times in the past 20 years. Um, but it's in remarkable, good, uh, remarkably good shape. Um, and uh, still works wonderfully. Um, no leaks. Uh, I oiled the you know what out of it. It seems to uh, perform great. So I wanted to install a scope, uh, the steel breech, and um, I also bought a replacement barrel for it because I want to make it um, as accurate as possible. Um, as a child, I did have the plastic stock. This is not it. This is a new plastic stock that I recently purchased. Um, it's exactly the same as I remember having as a kid. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, that stock didn't come uh, with the gun when it moved with me, so I don't know where that is at this point, but it's gone, so I was able to buy a new stock. Um, oddly enough, you can't find um, many different stocks other than this one out there for the 1377. I'd love to have a, a wooden stock or something a bit more fancy, but at the same time, this is the one I remember having as a kid uh, with the gun. I think if I purchased it, I purchased it with the gun as a kit, and it was called a carbine uh, uh, or something. That's basically that's a faint memory. I really I'm not 100% sure about that. But anyway, let's get to it. So I looked at many forums and, um, and many news groups, and I found varying answers on if you're able to install the newer Crossman steel breech that you're able to order today uh, onto this older Crossman. Um, now I'm cheating a little bit. I've already had this installed, so the answer is yes, um, and it works wonderfully, uh, with one caveat, uh, but I don't think it's a deal breaker, and I'll tell you what that caveat is now in case it is, and you don't have to continue to watch the video. Uh, the bolt that comes with it, uh, or any replacement bolt for the steel breech, does not cock the gun. So in other words, you load the pellet like you normally would into the breech, close the breech, push it down, and you still have to use the cocking lever in the back. To me, not a big deal. In fact, it's, I've always enjoyed pulling this thing. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like cocking an M16. I don't know. Goofy, but that's the way it works. So this steel breech um, does lock very tightly to the barrel, 
as well so the barrel no longer has that wiggle in it that you've probably seen if you bought the two clamp attachments for a scope and put your scope on there and the scope wobbled back and forth because in the original configuration with the original breech this barrel was not locked to the breech it just sat there fleet, uh, free floating between uh, the muzzle and the breech so you were able to turn it to a certain degree well that turn when you lock those um, clamp on scope mounts to it made the scope just unusable once you zeroed it um, it, it unzeroed once you moved the gun too much or if you knocked the scope into something it was pretty much off zero uh, I've had a scope on this breech on this Crossman 1377 and it is locked tight you can't move it um, so you're good to go so again the only caveat is with this new steel breech was I just got from Crossman which was $29.95 plus shipping with shipping to the Pennsylvania area it was about 40 bucks total uh, so breach and the uh, shipping about 40 bucks total does work on this gun works perfectly so you first up after uninstalling this breech and the old barrel pulls right out and this just isn't fastened at all it just sits under the between the tube and the actual barrel and it just falls right out as soon as you pull the breech up if with the two screws that falls out what you do need to be careful of is the valve there's a small metal valve that sits right in this hole right here. Uh, that's the breech screw. That's the sight screw. This is the actual valve where the air goes from the tube into the breech and fires the projectile. That little piece looks like this. It does only go in that hole one way, um, luckily. So there's two different sizes. So it's big side down, small side up. Um, you just need to make sure you don't lose that when you pull out the barrel because this is a critical piece to have and I haven't seen a replacement online. I'm sure you can find one if you really looked hard, but you don't want to be scrounging around the floor looking for that little piece if it falls out of, uh, of the hole. Don't know the correct name for it, but that's it. So, our first step after we've uninstalled all of the old parts is to... Step one is to install the new bolt. You do that by screwing the two pieces together, okay, which is the bolt handle and the, the actual bolt. This is the bolt that the, um, the actual steel breech came with. Um, it contains two pieces, the actual bolt and bolt handle. Uh, it comes in two pieces. The handle screws, simply screws into the bolt. Um, it comes in two pieces because you physically have to insert the bolt into the handle first and then screw it in. Um, otherwise, there's no way to get this bolt in the breech with the handle on. Um, I'm not going to install that one. I've actually got a replacement that I purchased online. I figure while I'm doing the video, let's uh, go ahead and do it that way. So basically, you want to take the bolt. Insulation is the same between the two, so there's no difference. And you want to slide it into the back of the breech, okay? And push it in. So if you slide it all the way forward, it will fall out. Put that in the blooper reel, huh? And install that bolt in here just far enough to where you can see the screw hole in the side of the breech and then you want to install once you have that lined up you want to go ahead and screw in the bolt handle directly into the breech okay and there we go so the bolts in there I shut the camera off for a second to do that because it was um, that was a two-handed job of course I don't have a tripod yet so just starting out so anyway there you go the bolts in um, looks a little better than the uh, a plain bolt that came with it. Um, it actually was a bonus. This came with a uh, replacement barrel that I purchased. Um, so here again, here is the old barrel uh, that was with this gun. Uh, this is the stock barrel. And then this is the barrel that I purchased. The grooves are a little bit deeper, um, so it does have better rifling in it. Um, as well as the fact that when I was a kid, I shot BBs through this barrel. Um, and probably exclusively BBs through this barrel, nope, not pellets, so the rifling in the old barrel is very worn down. The gun was still accurate, um, but I feel I could get better accuracy out of a better barrel. Um, the newer Crossman 1377s only shoot pellets. Um, and that's because the in the old breech, the, um, the breech right here, the bolt 
was magnetic on the end so you were supposed to be able to fire BBs you'd drop the BB in there and it would just magnetize to the to the tip of the um, of the bolt and then you close the bolt and you'd be good to go and the newer breaches they're not magnetized if you were to stick a BB in there it would just roll right out the barrel as soon as you closed the breech um, I think they did that on purpose because they didn't want BBs to be fired out of there only pellets anyway that's why I'm replacing the barrel um, because I wanted a brand new uh, rifling uh, again with the scope on it and everything I wanted to make sure I had the most accurate barrel possible so found this on eBay uh, barrel came with the uh, new bolt and uh, and the uh, bolt lever I guess for lack of a better term and I got that for about 40 bucks um, if you search for eBay there's always a few items that are up there parts wise for 1377 so um, also in the future I'm planning on um, doing something with the trigger I don't know the, the pulls a little rough um, it does pull me off site when I'm um, uh, trying to make a good shot. So I'm thinking about doing something to smooth out the trigger pull, but we'll do that in a later video. So now that we got the bolt together and, and, and we've got all the old parts that we want to get off off, the next step is to drop this little piece right here in the back of the bolt. And that basically is the pass through for the screw um, that also came uh, with the kit uh, that used to go where the sight was, the iron sight in the back, right here, um, it locks this down in the back of the breech here. So this slides directly in there, and you want to make sure the holes are aligned for the screw once you slide this into the into the back of the bolt here. And of course, I've already cut myself up, so that's why I had to pause the video, go run and get a band-aid. Okay, so anyway, push that back in there and you're good to go. The, the breech assembly is ready to install, with the exception of one piece I already have in here. This little screw right here, it's an Allen screw, it's a tiny little piece that comes in the bag when you order this and it kind of looks like some of the, the bottom of the bigger bolt broke off. It's the same size, everything. It's not. It sits right in here and gets tightened by an Allen key. And this bolt right here, once you have it, the whole thing assembled and tightened that, will lock the barrel in place from twisting. So that's very important. Big difference from the old model. That bolt didn't exist. And this little Allen key, once you turn and tighten that, will keep the bolt from twisting. Which means, even though you don't have a scope attached directly to the, to the barrel itself, it'll keep the whole thing from moving. And once you have everything sighted in, um, the rifling in the barrel will be locked in place and it'll maintain its accuracy. So very good job by Crossman including that simple little piece changes the whole game plan. So now that that's done this piece is ready to install. The first thing we're going to do is slide in the barrel. Okay, and That's done by sliding in forward first. Before I do that take note of this hole right here. This hole lines up with that air hole I was telling you about earlier on the crossman. And before you do that, you have to drop in that little piece that I also told you about. This guy right here, big size, big big side first, big side down. And what that, that's gonna do is allow transfer between the tube, the air between the tube and the actual barrel um, to fire the shot. So we're gonna head and drop that in. Okay, so there you go, that piece is in there now. Now we're ready to drop this barrel in and you have to bear with me because this piece gets kind of complicated. What you basically have to do is drop the front of the barrel in. Okay, try to put this down without knocking out that little piece. Okay. So, front of the barrel goes under. Okay, see that little piece there? You gotta line that up with that. Before you do that, you have to put the breech on. And that breech also has that little hole in it, which once the barrel's inside of it, you can transfer the air. So, so once you slide that barrel on, okay, so the barrel's in the front of the gun, insert it into the brand new bre breech, and I'm lining up that hole between the two. And that's going to take some work just to fiddle that in there, but once you fiddle it in, this breech is going to lay flat, perfectly flat on top of the tube. Like so. Now it's perfectly flat in there. At this point, the first thing you want to do is you either want to put the back screw in, okay or the forward breech screw I'm going to put the breech screw in uh, first just because um, well I don't know just because I want to so I'm going to ahead and open this bolt 
and tighten that small little screw. And I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver because again I'm afraid of stripping that little breech bolt. Okay, so I've tightened that little screw. I've got everything lined up perfectly. As you can see, the bolt is attached and the breech is attached. I'm going to go ahead now and tighten that little um, Allen key nut up top that locks that barrel in place. Okay, so that little bolt's tightened and the last step is just to put the included screw with the kit in the back. The sight does not go back on. Again, this does not include iron sights. It does include the little divot to put an, a new iron sight into. It's that little uh, V-shaped piece in the back forward of the screw hole. Um, but it, again, the original iron sights do not fit back on. Uh, it is meant to attach some sort of um, optical sight on. So, you can buy aftermarket um, rear sights, adjustable rear sights. In fact, there are some very good ones out there. Uh, but for now, we're not going to use the old uh, adjustable sight or the old screw that came with it, which is a bit longer, I believe, than the screw, uh, the new screw that they give you. Well, here you go, guys, the completed project. Everything's up and running, works perfectly, sighted in, and maybe for the next video, I'll give you a. Um, a little shot test see how accurate it really is so again thanks for watching and uh, how you doing